What's up friends, my name's Aaron Ciotti, everybody calls me Ciotti, and today we're going to take a look at motor cogginess or notchiness. Uh, first up here is an RCN Power 1202, a nice and smooth motor. Um, to explain what I'm doing here, I've taken my iPhone, put it into slow motion mode, uh, that runs at about 240 frames a second, uh, which I've then slowed down to 12.5%. Uh, this is an RC in power 1204, uh, another nice and smooth motor. I've then put the heaviest propeller that I've got on this, which is an HQ 4 blade 3.1 uh, length. And the heavy propeller just makes this effect a little bit more obvious. Now we've moved on to our brother hobby 1103. This is a motor you can see it's kind of chipped up on the bell. This is a motor that's been run a bunch, so the bearings are nice and smooth. That's why it continues to bounce back and forth. What I want you guys to look at though is the speed that the motor bounces back and forth. Um, as the speed of that bounce back and forth increases, the cogginess, the notchiness of the motor also increases. And we get to a point with these motors where um, basically they become too coggy. They, they start to create a lot of jello in any HD that you're trying to collect uh, and they make tuning very difficult. Here's a Hype Train 1104 7500. Uh, this is uh, LeDrib's uh, Rotor Riot motor for his uh, Driblet Micro. Uh, again, a nice smooth motor. You can see it rocks back and forth nice and slow. Uh, we're going to start to get into more notchy motors and you're really going to see a stark difference in uh, the speed that it rocks back and forth there. Um, next up, I believe we've got a 1404 from Emacs, the Eco, and now this is where we start to get into more notchy motors. You can already see the difference, right? It bounces back and forth a lot quicker, um, and that is the visual representation here of a more notchy motor. Uh, here's a quick comparison to the Beta FPV 1404. So Emacs 1404 and then Beta FPV 1404. The Beta is a little bit notchier, um, but the, the, the Eco is basically as notchy as I've had any luck with. Uh, once I went to the Beta FPV 1404, that was actually too notchy to be able to get a half decent tune on it. Um, and, and it started to introduce Jello into the uh, into the HD feed. Uh, a couple more specific from just the Beta FPV 1404, and then we're going to see the 1505 in a minute, and that's even worse. Um, but before we go there, here's another smooth motor. This is the RCX 1304. These are beautiful motors. I've been running these forever. You can only get them from my RC Mart, but they're eight bucks a motor. Um, and they're nice and smooth as you can see here that nice slow bounce back and forth is how you can tell that it's smooth uh, at 12 and a half percent speed here uh, next up we've got the uh, beta oh, I'm sorry the Emacs 1306 uh, 1306 is a, is a motor that doesn't get much love but it's a phenomenal motor on 4s 450s this will swing a three inch tri-blade prop uh, on a rig 180 to 220 grams um, and just absolutely rip. This is a great motor and nice and smooth as you can see by the, the speed of the bounce uh, to the cogginess there. Next up we're going to take a look at the Beta FPV 1505. Look at this thing. Boy, oh, 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 oh. See how quick that is? And it really, really, really bounces uh, a bunch back and forth because there's such a, cog there's such a heavy cogginess to it. Um, this is a motor that I had absolutely no luck with getting tuned well or getting jello free HD footage. Um, next up we're into the RCN Power uh, 1506. Again, incredibly notchy motor. We've now moved over to M5 nut. This is <laughs> a swing and a miss there. This is a racecraft five blade prop that weighs exactly the same as that um, T-mount uh, 3.1 four blade. Uh, next up we're looking at a Hobbymate 1505 Plus. I found out later that what they mean by 1505 Plus is that it's a 1506. Um, and it's actually made by RC and Power. So it looks a lot like the RC and Power we were just looking at because it is just in a different color with a different spoke design. This is the Flywoo Robo 1507. There are two versions of this motor that look identical. This is the smooth 14 magnet version. Uh, Flywoo also made a 12 magnet version that's terrible and you can't tell them apart. Uh, this is the T-Motor F1507, another 14 magnet motor. As you can see, nice and smooth. Here's the Emacs 1606. 
very, very notchy motor. I ran these for about six months on my Acrobrat and was just never able to get the Jello out of the HD. Uh, when I moved over to this next motor, uh, the X Nova 1804, all those problems went away. I was also able to get a much better PID tune on it because as you can see, it's a much smoother motor. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. If anybody wants to get in on this testing, I actually posted this video over on my Patreon page at CIDFPV. I'm going to leave you guys with an Ethics Silk V2 motor without a propeller on it. Uh, this is a motor that we all know is very smooth, and you can see that slow bounce at the end there. Do me a favor and hit some buttons down below so that you don't miss any of my live streams. I usually do three or four a week. Thanks for hanging.